What's up Trophy Hunters, today I'm gonna show you how to get the Platinum in Check 3 with the Debug menu. It will take a little longer than Check 2, but if you know what you have to do it's very easy. The only special equipment you need is a second controller. After choosing our language and skipping the first cutscene, we are right now in the main menu. Right here we have to enter the first code. After entering the first code we will jump into the next menu and the option with secrets will appear. Just now enter the second code. Once we enter all two codes, just go to secrets, choose level select act 3 and go down to the final level, destroy the final boss and all story related trophies will unlock. I will speed this a little bit up. Now we only missing one more story trophy called taking him down. This is for beating the final boss but we didn't have to beat him we just use the debug menu and choose the final cutscene to unlock the trophy. So let's go back to the game. Pause the game with the touch button. In the pause menu press L2 plus R1. Go to secrets. Choose Scene Player Act 3. And last but not least, choose the Universe Course. The collectibles in Check 3 is a little bit more complicated, unlike in Check 2. Using the second controller doesn't unlock all collectible trophies. So you have to do a workaround and get some collectibles by yourself. So in the secret menu choose level select act 2 and choose reach port via sewer. In the next area we have to kill a lot of metalhead scorpions. Here we have to farm or grind 125 gems. After getting the two trophies for 25 gems and 125 gems, we can use the second controller trick to unlock the rest of the gems. This should take you overall about 15 or 20 minutes to get all the 125 gems.
After receiving the trophy for the 125 gems in the game, we are able to use the second controller trick. Activate your second controller, sign in with any account you want and press L3 plus X on your second controller and the trophy should pop. If you followed this guide correctly, you should have two collectible trophies left, 300 orbs and 600 orbs. In the pause menu we hold L2 plus R1 again, selecting pre-start this time and choosing Climb Monk Temple Tower. So for the orb collectibles this works similarly to the school games. First we have to pick up some power ups and 4 gems. With the debug menu active you can actually fly with L2 plus R2 button. This makes some things a little bit easier. If you want to stop flying just press X. After picking up some power ups and 4 gems we are able to do a challenge. In this challenge we will use a glitch till we get 300 orbs. Every time we complete this challenge once we get 3 orbs. So this means we have to do this challenge 100 times. But don't worry the challenge only take a few seconds. This is where we can start the challenge, it's very easy. Just hold the L2 plus R2 button to fly, fly beside the orb, hold L2 button, press start and go to restart. Every time you finish the challenge once, you will receive 3 orbs. If you don't show how many orbs you have, you can check it out in the pause menu under secrets. If you fail and fly into the orb or pick it up, the challenge is over and you can't restart it. It is not easy to fail. Would you like to try again? If should this happen to you, I show you a second spot where you can use the glitch and farm some orbs. After receiving the trophy for the 300 orbs, we are able to use the second controller trick again. Activate your second controller, sign in if you're not signed in already. Press L3 plus X button and you should get finally your last trophy. So that's it, this is how to get the platinum as fast as possible with the debug menu. I hope this video could help you guys. If anyone finds a better or a faster way, you can... Leave a comment and let me know it. So have fun guys, see you on my next one.